Hi, I'm John Gullen in front of the Burnett Smart Display Trailer. The display is used to demonstrate the visual difference the advanced wood burning technologies make. One of the stoves on the trailer is an older conventional stove, and one is an advanced technology EPA or CSA B415 certified stove. The two stoves don't look much different. They're about the same size, both have glass doors, and they're both painted black. But that's where the similarities end. The conventional stove has none of the technologies that can burn smoke before it enters the chimney. Notice that the fire looks dull and there's only a small amount of flame in the firebox. This is because the smoke that rises off the wood as it heats does not burn completely in the firebox. In contrast, the EPA certified stove does have these technologies and the difference is noticeable right away. There are lots of flames and they completely fill the area above the fuel. The wood smoke burns in lively flames before it leaves the firebox. This is a characteristic of advanced technology stoves. The differences in technology show up at the top of the chimneys. Notice the plume of smoke coming from the chimney attached to the older conventional stove, but there's no visible smoke from the EPA certified stove. That visual difference represents up to a 90% reduction in smoke pollution. Let's take a closer look to see how the new technology works. The advanced technology stove has an insulating fire brick lining and a large baffle covering the top of the firebox. The bricks and baffle reflect heat back towards the fire, raising its temperature. Underneath the baffle are air tubes, 
or a hollow chamber where superheated secondary air is fed to the fire through small holes. Now let's see this new technology in action. The gases rising from the wood are kept hot by the baffle and insulating fire brick, and they react with the hot combustion air fed to the top of the fire. The result is a striking display of flames high in the firebox that is characteristic of these advanced technology stoves. Now let's compare the advanced stove with the conventional one. The conventional stove has fire brick lining but does not have a large baffle at the top of the firebox to reflect heat back to the fire. It also doesn't supply preheated secondary air to the flames as they rise off the wood. Most conventional stoves are like this one, empty steel boxes in which to build a fire, but you can't burn wood cleanly in an empty box. Without the reflecting baffle and preheated secondary air supply, Wood smoke can exit the firebox into the chimney where it clings as creosote deposits or is expelled outside as wood smoke pollution. Smoke is also wasted energy that could be used to heat a house. Compare that with the advanced stove. Because the wood smoke is burned in the firebox, there is no visible smoke at the top of the chimney. This results in up to a 30% higher efficiency. That's 30% less cutting, splitting and carrying and 30% less cost if you buy your wood. They say that seeing is believing, and that's certainly true when it comes to the new advanced wood burning technologies. I'm John Gullen. Thanks for watching. The warmth and ambience of a roaring fire is a wonderful part of a home. Whether it is fueled by gas, pellets, or firewood, this is especially true when the fire also provides heat and comfort with minimal air quality impact. These are reasons to consider a modern day high efficiency stove or fireplace insert. Investing in a new stove or fireplace insert is an opportunity to enhance your home heating system. Aesthetics are only one part of the decision. Heat, economics, Efficiency, design, and air quality are all aspects to consider. It's important to choose the one that works best for your lifestyle and your pocketbook. Here's an overview of the options available. Gas stoves. More than 60% of all hearth appliances burn gas, either propane or natural gas, because of the convenience and availability of the fuel. Some direct vent stoves come with remote controls or thermostats and are easily controlled. Heater rated gas stoves are 74% efficient or better and most offer blowers to help circulate the heat. During a power outage, gas stoves with blowers will still provide radiant heat without the blower. Pellet stoves. The fuel for these innovative stoves is made from renewable resources, recycled wood waste or dried corn. The compressed pellets pour into a hopper at the top of the stove, which then feeds the fuel automatically into the stove's burn pot. A single load of pellets can burn up to 88 hours, and pellet stoves are up to 80% efficient. An optional battery or generator backup is available for many models, so they will still work when the power goes out. They even come with remote controls or can be controlled by thermostats. Wood Stoves New technology EPA certified wood stoves and fireplace inserts burn very cleanly and produce significantly less smoke than older stoves when operated correctly. When firewood is readily available, wood stoves are a good option. Because of the way they are designed, they will burn your wood much more efficiently and deliver more heat. This is especially true when an insert is installed in an open fireplace, which ensures the heat goes into a room instead of having warm air drawn from the room and sent up the chimney. These are the three most popular options, but electricity, coal, corn, and oil are other fuels that are sometimes used in stoves and inserts, depending on their availability in various areas. One final consideration if you are in an area that restricts burning during periods of poor air quality. Electric and gas stoves and inserts can still be used during restrictions. Appliances burning other fuels might not be allowed during some restricted periods. Be sure to check with your air quality agency to understand local rules. With all this information, how do you decide? First, consider these questions. What appliance is the right size for your home? Who is going to install the new stove or insert? Do you need it for full or part-time heat? What is your budget? What type of fuel is readily available? Next, it's time to visit a specialty retailer.
Specialty stove and fireplace retailers carry and demonstrate all types of appliances and have the ability to help you with the installation and service. They are happy to answer your questions and provide you with product literature. If you are replacing an old stove, you have an even better reason to do your homework. The technology available today is impressive, whether gas, pellet, or wood. Retailers can also help you remove an old appliance and have it destroyed and recycled, which is the right thing to do. In some areas, it is illegal to sell an old, uncertified stove that has been removed, so be sure to check local regulations. Professional installation by a technician certified by the National Fireplace Institute is essential for the proper performance and safety of a hearth product and its venting system. Your local building authority may require a permit to install a hearth appliance, and it's a good idea to get one to avoid invalidating your homeowner's insurance. Make sure you follow the recommended maintenance and service steps as well. Once you have your new hearth appliance, consider other ways to get the most heat from it. A properly weatherized home keeps the warmth your stove or insert generates from leaking out, in effect leaking money. Caulking and weather stripping are good ideas, as are tuning up your main furnace and installing storm windows. Armed with this information, you can now make the right choice to fit your needs. Whether you're a new wood stove owner or have had one for some time, you might be surprised to learn that you may be able to operate your stove more efficiently, get more heat, and save money by doing so. Using your stove properly can reduce the amount of wood you use by up to a third, while giving you as much or more heat. Another benefit is cleaner air for you and your neighbors to breathe, both inside and out. Smoke coming from your chimney means your stove is not operating efficiently. Smoke is unburned fuel and a waste of your cash. With a little practice and care, you can easily produce a nice hot fire with little or no smoke. This applies to both older uncertified stoves and newer high technology EPA certified stoves. The newer certified wood stoves are highly engineered, high performing appliances, but even they can be operated improperly and inefficiently. Certified wood stoves are unique because of how they are constructed. They use technology that creates an optimum burning environment and actually reburns the smoke to reduce it, which also produces more heat. When it is properly used, you should see no smoke coming from the chimney of a certified stove. Here are six steps to a fire that gives plenty of heat while saving your hard-earned money. First, select your fuel. It is extremely important to use the right fuel. Make sure your wood is very dry and well seasoned. Using green wood or wood that has not been properly dried significantly reduces the heat output of your stove and increases creosote buildup in your chimney. Firewood should be stacked for drying for at least six months and protected from fall and winter rains. Use a moisture meter available at most stores to tell if your wood is ready to burn. It should have 20% moisture or less. Or just knock on it. If it sounds hollow, it's probably seasoned. Second, start your fire right. Small, hot fires are best. It's important to use smaller pieces of seasoned firewood when starting your fire, so it will become a good hot fire quickly. It's best to keep the stove door slightly open for about a minute to help the fire get burning strongly before latching it. Third, get your stove hot. The key is to get the stove hot enough so it will perform as designed and reburn the smoke. Start with a small hot fire. Add larger pieces of wood one at a time as needed instead of loading your stove with several large pieces at once. Fourth, maintain the fire. For older uncertified wood stoves, be sure not to close the damper or air control too much. That makes the fire smolder and smoke. Don't overload any stove, which also causes smoldering. This creates too much smoke, produces less heat, builds up creosote in your chimney, and wastes your fuel and money. Fifth, keep the doors closed. Unless you are adding more wood, keep the doors closed so the stove will operate as designed. When the doors are open, you are losing heat up the chimney. And one final thing, never burn garbage. Do not burn junk mail, newspapers, or any other garbage in a wood stove. In most areas, burning garbage is illegal. A small amount of paper can be used to start the fire, but other than that, the only items to be burned in a wood stove are firewood, fire starters, and manufactured fire logs approved for use in wood stoves. After you have taken these steps, you can check how you're doing by looking for smoke from your chimney. 
If you are burning properly, you shouldn't see smoke. If you do, you'll need to review these steps again. Proper fuel and a hot fire are the most common solutions. Here are a few additional points to consider. Keep your chimney clean and clear by using a certified chimney sweep annually. Creosote caused by burning can build up in your chimney and create a safety hazard. Have your stove serviced yearly by a wood heat professional, preferably one certified by the National Fireplace Institute, to make sure your stove and chimney are in good shape. Clear out the ash regularly, but only after the ash has cooled completely. Leave about an inch of ash in the bottom of the stove for optimum performance. Dispose of the rest in a metal container. If you have questions or want to learn more about the most efficient, clean, and cost-effective operation of your stove, visit a local specialty hearth retailer.